This video will cover some of the many options of how to pack your products, if your products do in fact need packing. First up is the outer packaging itself. Some smaller products can go into a craft bubble mailer or poly bubble mailer. These are also available without the bubbles, just called poly bags. Then of course your cardboard box. Next up we'll look at how to fill voids and protect your products while shipping. First two are paper. You have crap paper and newsprint. Both can be torn and balled up. They're available in different sizes, on rolls and off. And then we have foam packaging that's gonna add more protection while the paper just is to fill voids in many cases. It can also be balled up or it can be wrapped and taped to the products. The same goes for your bubble wrap. This can be stuffed to fill voids or used to protect sharp objects and fragile items. It's always safe to stick a fragile label on several sides on the box. And then to close the box, you're going to want tape. I recommend a sturdy tape gun as it's faster than any other option. You'll also need a scale and a tape measure for the weight and the dimensions and a way to print your labels and packing slips if you choose. But before any of this, you're going to need a clean workstation and a place for you to receive your items. In order to do this, you will want a way to mark your boxes as they come in, as well as a box cutter to open the boxes. This workflow will be covered in a later video after we get our workstation set up. 